you're welcome to my channel in this video we are going to look at the scope and composition of employment income the things that make up employment income yeah and we are going to use employment income according to section 19 one yeah, so we are going to look at things that make up employment income and we said employment income it means any income derived by an employee from unemployment the money that you get from being employed the salary that you get and any other thing that comes with it that comes with that employment yeah the bonuses the allowances the gifts all that so it's what we are going to look at the things that make up employment income all the things that are considered employment income according to section 191 yeah the general description of employment income includes the following the first one is any wage salary leave leave pay pay in lieu of leave overtime pay the fees commission bonus or the amount of any traveling, entertainment, utilities, cost of living, housing, medical, or any other allowance. So all these things are considered employment income. If they give you any wage from being employed, it's considered employment income. The salary that you earn per month, it is considered employment income. The money that they give you when you're on leave, it is also considered employment income. The money that they give you when you work overtime, it is considered employment income. Then the commission that they give you, if for example, if you make sales, it is considered employment income. The bonuses that you get from being employed, it is also considered employment income. Then any allowance, it can be traveling allowance, entertainment, utilities, cost of living, housing, medical, they're all considered employment income. So that is the first composition of employment income. And then the second one is the value of any benefit granted. If they give you any benefit from being employed, like when you are getting it because you're doing that job, if you were not at, at that job, you wouldn't have gotten it. It is also considered employment income. Any benefit in kind provided by the employer. Benefit in kind, it's when they give you something but not in form of money. For example, if in, instead of giving you housing allowance, they give you a house. Instead of giving you transport allowance, they give you a car. So any benefit in kind provided by the employer is also regarded as employment income. Another composition of employment income is any amount of private or personal expenditure discharged or reimbursed by the employer. If the employer pays your personal expenditure, for example, if the employer pays your electricity, it is also regarded as employment income. If they pay your housemaid, it is regarded as employment income because it's supposed to be personal expenditure, but they do it for you. Then another one is employment terminal benefits. If they terminate you from work or if they terminate a contract and they, and they give you money, it is also considered employment income. Yeah. Any amount derived as compensation for termination of any contract of employment, it is considered employment income. Then another composition is insurance premiums paid by the employer for the employee and or his benefit, his dependents. Like we, in case you have insurance and then the employer pays your insurance, it is considered employment income. Or if you have kids and the employer pays insurance for your kids and your wife and your mother and your everything, it is also considered employment income because if you were not doing that job, you wouldn't have gotten that benefit. Like you, he wouldn't have paid your insurance if you're not working for him or her. Yeah. So any insurance pre premiums paid by the employer for the employee or his benefit, his dependents, it is considered 
employment income. Another one is uh, payment in respect of change of employment or contract terms. So if they, if they change the terms of the contract or if they change the conditions of, of work yeah, and they give you money or they give you any benefit, it is also considered employment income because if they were not changing the employment, you wouldn't have gotten it. And if you're not doing that job, you wouldn't have gotten it. So it's also considered employment income. Another scoop of employment income is discounts in shares allotted to an employee or profit or gain on disposal of such shares. If an employee buys shares in the company and they are given a discount, it is it is called rates issue. If they if they carry out a rates issue and an employee is given a discount, like they give you the shares but at a lower price compared to the people outside the company. Yeah, that benefit is also considered employment income because rates issue is only given to existing existing shareholders or employees. Okay, if you were not an employee of that company or if you're not if you were not an employee of your employer, you wouldn't have gotten the discounts in the shares that were allotted to you. So in case they give you a discount or in case they reduce on the price of the shares just for you because you're their employee, it is also considered as employment income. And the last scoop or composition of employment income is the amount of any gain derived by an employee on disposal of a rate or option to acquire shares under an employee share acquisition scheme. So if you sell your rate to acquire shares in a company, you sell it to someone else, that money that you get is also considered employment income.